Epiphany 8, that longing. It, it rains now upon the snow, which we for a time loved. Now it is dirty, its perfect crystals melted to mediocrity. It is like Salieri to have beheld the genius of Mozart saying, It seemed to me that I was hearing the very voice of God. I speak for all mediocrities in the world. I am their champion. I am their patron saint. Mediocrities everywhere, I absolve you. I absolve you. I absolve you all. All I wanted was to sing to God. You gave me that longing and then made me mute. Why? Tell me that. We have lived within our born normality, unable to grasp the extraordinary. So we gently view the Christmas season, a child in a manger. But of blood and flesh are you come, that through death you might destroy him that had the power of death, gained against us in the garden transaction. This same child, for whom and through whom exist all things, become the author of our salvation. This perfect one brought to us a perfect salvation through your suffered life. By God's grace, you were given to taste death for all of us, the children God has given you. How came this overcoming? For the powers against us were not flesh and blood, but were of the dark world and of evil and of great power. Your very goodness and innocence inspired murder in Herod, in the scribes, in the Pharisees, actually in all of us. Though we do not say it, do not think it. We'll not let ourselves admit to our lifelong againstness, to the child, the boy, the gentle man who died so ignominiously. Our slavery was our fear of death, not seeing the light brought to us in the morning star, which was at creation and at Bethlehem, not suffering as temple sacrifices many times since the creation of the world, but now once in the end of the world. Now once in the end of the world. Was not all this story in the reign of Caesar Augustus 2,000 years ago? But the child grown said to the people, Little children, it is the last hour. Many antichrists are about, whereby we know that it is the last time. Those who have taught you are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. We are from of God, knowing the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The angels rejoiced when they saw all these things coming to pass. You will be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. The shepherds, the kings, and we, thought to be watching over you, but you are watching over us. Who else is all providence, who delivers from death and redeems us to life everlasting? Yea, the shadow of the cross fell upon the manger, yet it was accepted. Into it you walked in obedience, out from it you walked in exaltation, even up to the th throne of God. No doubt the child was in danger all his life. We know of Herod, of poverty, of Satan in the wilderness, of the Jews, of the Romans, of your own doubting disciples. Why should we in our lives fear anything? The angels sang, do not be afraid and delivered us to the child and unto all your expectation. You are the expected one, the promised of ages, the King of kings and Lord of lords. We rejoice to be your servants, your children, and your friends. Amen.